Hi there. We have our next activity kit going, and um, for this weekend, we decided on making a kite with you guys. And um, we are going to use the rainbow colors because it's June, and June is the Pride Month. So, yeah, we're going to use all the colors you can find on the Pride flag, and um, let's get started. Included in your Pride kit is a tape, watercolor paper, a water cup, a skewer, watercolors, ribbon, and yarn. You will need to use a ruler, scissors, a pencil, kitchen roll, and a brush from home. All right, so go ahead and get out your colors, the piece of paper and the cup and fill it with water. We decided on using watercolors for this kit and as the name says, you mostly color with water, so it can be really, really fine on your white paper. Use a lot of water, you can even mix and match a little bit. I decided to create my kite the same way the pride flag looks. And uh, the pride flag starts with red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. You will see the orange color you can mix with putting or red and yellow together. And for purple, we use just some blue pigment and red pigment. All right, let that side dry a little bit and flip it around. And do the same thing on the back. There we go, I just kind of skipped ahead and uh, we have a dry colored paper here now. Next step is to fold it in the middle. Then use your ruler to measure three and a half inch at the bottom and make a little dot there. Then go ahead and measure around 1.3 inch at the top and connect those both dots. Then fold exactly on the line. I'm going to use my ruler here to kind of help me out a little bit with that. Get a piece of tape. It should be as long as the whole folded area. Tape that on that folded section. Cut away all of the leftover tape. and fold the other side the same way you did on the first one.
All right, so our next step will be to put a hole into the back so we can actually put the yarn through our paper kite. For that, I measured around two and a half inch into the middle, marked a little spot where I want to cut the hole. And here I will use my scissors to cut a little hole into it. It may be a good idea to ask your parents if they could help with this step as it can be a little tricky. And then to kind of make it a little bit more solid, I will use two pieces of tape and just tape over the hole. And then use something sharp. I will use my pencil here and kind of stick it through. All right, next step will be to put our skewer on and the ribbon. So the skewer has to be on the widest, the widest sides of the kite, which are in the upper, in the upper part. For that, I just try to put the skewer, skewer into the middle of the tape and then tape it down on the paper. Cut away the leftover tape again. Next step is to get our tape on the kite. It doesn't really matter which color you do first. I will start with red again. And I will just speed it up a little bit. For the longer tapes, I just went ahead and taped both ends onto the kite. But feel free to do however you would like to do it. All right, the tape is on, the skewer is on, and we're almost ready to go. The last thing now is to put the yarn on and for that just try to get the yarn through your hole make a nice tight knot and your kite is almost ready to fly So guys, I hope you enjoyed this um, pride craft and if you have any feedback, please let us know at the gallery. We're always happy to hear how it, how it went. Uh, you can also send us some pictures in of you with your rainbow kite and um, yeah, thank you to our sponsors Pradion for this week's activity kit and um, see you next time. Bye bye.